Good morning. Happy Thursday. Bodhi here at Unity of Jupiter. Getting ready to teach a yoga class here at 9 a.m. But right now I want to do a little miraculous meditation moment. And uh, today is Unity's World Day of Prayer. And at Unity Village, our headquarters back in Lee's Summit, Missouri, there are many people, shh, come here, who have come together this morning to pray with and read aloud the millions of names that have been sent in to Silent Unity, our 24-hour prayer, prayer vigil that's been going on at Unity Village for 130 years. And um, today's a special day as names have been collected. Come here. And, um, and they are being prayerfully read. So maybe you're one of those who has um, submitted some names and maybe your own name is on that list. And it's just good to know that uh, people are praying with us. And so that's what today is all about. And the affirmation for this year's World Day of Prayer is, no matter their circumstances, all is well with my soul. No matter the circumstances, all is well with my soul. And I love this affirmation because it's the truth of our spiritual lives that no matter what's going on in the outer, that when we connect with that inner realm of our lives, the spiritual realm, that we find peace, and then we're able to handle all the circumstances in the outer world. And there are a lot of them right now that we're dealing with, and uh, not the least of which is the pandemic and uh, climate change and all the, the fires and floods and all the situations that add to uh, the challenge of just being a human being on this planet and how delicate and fragile that is. And so, it's, I don't know, that's why I do my spiritual practices is to stay connected with the truth, with uh, something greater than myself that um, helps me to be able to navigate the world and live life on life's terms. So we're going to do a little meditation and a little chant this morning. The, the uh, chant is, Be still and know that I am God, which is uh, a psalm. And uh, it's what the psalmist discovered when uh, he didn't find God in the circumstances of the world, not in the earthquake or the fire or the flood, but in the still small voice. And so this, uh, this chant reminds us to, to still ourselves, to go in and connect with that divine presence. So I invite this to be our meditation this morning. Be still and know that I am God. And I uh, invite you to join me in this practice.
still and know that I am God. still and know that I am gone. And take a deeper breath into this stillness and connect with your heart and with the truth of your being that all is well with your soul as we affirm inwardly be still and know that I am God and all is well with my soul. still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know statement, know that I am God, is so important in our, our practices that what we connect our I am with. I am God. I am health. I am love. I am peace. I am abundance. These are the truths that uh, affirm that all is well with my soul, no matter what's going on in the outer, no matter what the circumstances are in the world. And it's important to remember this because, you know, we have these two aspects of our lives, the physical and the spiritual. And um, we want to bring them together. And that is the practice of non-duality. And to me, it's about bringing the spirituality into my humanity. And so every time I practice, every time I sit on my mat, get out my guitar, meditate, be of loving service to another I'm bringing that spirituality into my humanity and um, moving away from non-duality and into oneness. So I affirm that you have a beautiful day and know that you're being prayed with. And uh, may all the circumstances of our lives serve the awakening of our hearts. Satnam, namaste. God bless you.